It's a badly kept secret that law enforcement has surveillance tools to track cell phone activity, pursuing suspects, but we're learning now how much they use those tools. It's been revealed that U.S. Marshals alone have tracked about 6,000 cell phones, and that also raises privacy concerns because the surveillance is picking up information from other nearby phones. It looks like we can't escape being spied on. Crime Signer's Graham Cates joins me here. I mean, the thing is, is that the law enforcement would argue, yeah, we're doing this to track down the bad guys, but they're collecting a whole lot more data? Right, and that's what privacy advocates talk about. The way this works is the device, it's called a Stingray. It functions like a mini cell phone tower, and it sits inside usually an unmarked police vehicle. And what they're looking for is maybe a specific suspect's cell phone information to collect his uh, phone calls, his emails, his text messages, and where, he, where he's moving with his cell phone. But the way a normal cell phone works is it looks for the closest cell phone tower and connects through that. And so the Stingray collects all of the cell phones in the area as long as they're uh, making contact with the nearest uh, sig I'm sorry, tower. And then it sends it on to the regular tower, but yeah. the police get to collect that information. And technically, they're supposed to delete all of it. But we're really not supposed to find out how they do that because of some contractual things they, they do with the maker of the Stingray. Okay, so I just read recently that um, a lot of local police departments are using this now. Only the deal was when they got it from the feds, listen, if this ever comes up as a question in court, they want to know how did you find your, su your suspect in this house, how did you track him there, that rather than explaining the technology, you have to drop the case. And, and the law enforcement agencies go, okay, all right, we're, we're in on that. Do they have to get warrants for this? I, mean, I never thought I would utter this phrase, but back in the good old days, you had to go and get a court order if you wanted to eavesdrop on someone's phone calls. The answer is basically no. Uh, we just found out that the NYPD has used this to track over a thousand people, again, collecting more than just that thousand. But they, by policy, don't get a warrant. They get what's called a pen register order. And that means instead of proving the probable cause that goes into a warrant, mm -hmm. they just have to show that it's in some way relevant to their overall investigation. The ACLU, I understand, has identified 60 agencies in 23 states and the District of Columbia that own stingrays. The U.S. Marshals uh, were asked, well, how many cases do you use this on? Did they give answers? This is really fascinating. You, the USA Today asked for a log of every case where they've specifically used a stingray. So that's like a spreadsheet that lists each one. Mm -hmm. And what they got was a response saying, we're not allowed to give out that information because it's personal about the people who we are looking at. And instead, they got this almost blank spreadsheet. It was 80 pages long. And each one is, is, uh, den uh, denotes that it was personal information. And they just counted the number of cases. And it's, over, it's almost 6,000. That, that the U.S. Marshals are using. What's the real danger here for our privacy? I mean, a lot of people would say, hey, look, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I don't have anything to hide. So if cops can stop crimes by tracking this stuff, so be it. The ACLU and others who argue against it say this is really a Fourth Amendment issue. Your cell phone goes into your house. It goes into all these places that are your own property. And typically a warrant is needed in order to collect that information. And you have a right against unreasonable search in, right. in, in these cases. All right. And they're seizing your information, too. Graham, thanks. All right. Remember, you can track these investigations. You can read up on the big crime stories of the day at cbsnews.com slash crimesider.